Hi, I'm speaking on behalf of the Town and Country Naturists and today we're talking about um, keeping a safer place for the people when they come around to your home. Most homes can be made safer for people who are enjoying the lifestyle and our lifestyle is minimal dress or less. There's a certain amount of tolerance. Behind us is a neighbour's yard and over here is a camo net. It's just strung across. I'll show you what this fires. It's actually held up by clothes pegs. Pull it down and you're finished, roll it up. But over here, as people have come through, give them a table where they can change. Uh, I call it a transition area. They can transition from civvy clothes to club dress as we would call it. Also over here, have a place for them to put their clothes and shoes. And if you're the host, the male, keep something for emergencies, just in case somebody rings the front doorbell, you need to be right for that. But people can bring their own shopping bags, etc. Here, put a little drape or a sheet or something. It just gives people who are shy and new to the lifestyle somewhere like a veil they can feel that they can transition a lot easier over here have a place for your secretary you have there's money to be changing hands bands to be put on people to identify whether they're members or guests or you know part of your committee different colored bands on the wrist helps to identify them and so i mean these things are simple and easy or your club, you or your club, just do that. Oh, by the way, you notice I haven't mentioned my name yet? That's because everybody can simply have their name written on them. And if they've got an unusual name like Euphemia or, you know, whatever, then everybody can simply become Chris. Chris means you can be male or female. Oh, I'm not undressed enough. Chris, male or female, you'll get the idea. Over here, oh by the way, yeah, if you want, got a bit fancy, you can put up other sort of screening effects. Anything you want to hide, just put it under something. Look at that, we finally found a use for the yoga mat. This is just a sheet and it's just covering up a whole lot of rubbish on a table. Take hardly anything, throw a weight on it, all done. Come along. When people arrive, it's probably good to go and you know, spray around, just, just down at ground level. It gets rid of flies, mosquitoes, any other bugs that are around, and also just as a courtesy, yeah, you know, something which is a personal spray. People put it on their legs, arms, or anything, whatever. But yeah, if you've got a bit of a mucky on the table, there you are. Oh, two spoons. You always need those for people in their coffee. Get some broccoli boxes or you know, a couple of eskies. If people are bringing their own lunch, then they need to well have a place to store it. Or yeah, and, and the ice. Well, two litre containers that once held milk or cordial, fill them with water, put them in your freezer. I mean, why go out and buy stuff? Uh, also, buy a couple of extra of these. You're going to have guests around. Let's not run out of the essentials. Over here, yeah, we've got a table. Not much. Keep some spring water or something around just for those who you know, run out of water. Our table's looking a bit ratty. So we simply put a plastic sheeting over. And this is the bulldog clip. Buy lots of them. You'll use them or get your club to buy them. That covers it there. These are a couple of dollars each in a reject shop. Come along.
Yes, camouflage nets also goes beyond our neighbours. You come and have a look down here, that's our front road. And so we have put a camouflage net across. Nobody of a height less than two and a half metres can see over it and nobody can see under it. You can see our neighbours right across the road in the other end. They have no problem at all with the lifestyle, but they're informed. Be gracious. Let's come on down the backyard a bit. On the other side, of here we have more neighbours who are also okay with the lifestyle, but there are some pious of houses over there which we just shield they, um, their, their vision. It's a courtesy. It's not actually a requirement of the law. And let's be sensible and sensitive to our neighbours. Over here, we've got a bit of a gully in our yard. Guess what we do at night? What we do at night, fill it up with bits of timber and whatever, bring all of our chairs down here, and we just thoroughly enjoy a campfire chat with our wine. So, yeah, make your people feel comfortable, let your neighbours feel comfortable and uh, we use camo nets and we'd like you to join perhaps the town and country naturists will help you set up a branch club in your area or for the people that you particularly like to meet with special interest groups niche groups everything's on the website thank you for listening